are pleased to bring you our feature presentation. All right, it's Dan here, and sometimes I just sit alone in my room wanting to do something, and I decided to not waste my time and actually do something. So I wanted to make a little video about a magazine I got. Um, I got this magazine long before I started collecting VHS. It was probably a few years ago. There's a comic book shop called Books Galore in Erie, Pennsylvania, and this was just sitting on the racks. And like I've always liked horror movies, so obviously Hellraiser being on the cover tempted me. And it was only 50 cents at the time. It wasn't in this bad a condition when I first got it, but over the years it's just fallen apart. But uh, then when we started collecting VHS, I was reminded of this and dug through my room and found it, and I'm very, very pleased. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just a like magazine that they'd hand out to like uh, video stores and whatnot to like decide what they're ordering, or maybe people could order this if... You could afford the ridiculous prices that are in here, but um, it's almost it's mostly genre stuff actually in here. Uh, I can't find a specific date that it came out, but I'm guessing it since most of the movies were around '87. I'm guessing it was either '87 or '88, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. Uh, you see on the cover, Hellraiser. You got this movie. You got this. Spectres. I'm pretty sure we have a copy of this, though I don't know if that's the cover that we have, but it stars Donald Pleasance and Pierre Entertainment Corporation. And then in here, this is a video I see all the time, The Squeeze. This looks like complete garbage shit with Michael Keaton in it. it just the video store in Edinburgh alone has like five or six copies of that. Maybe one day we'll get it just so we can rip it a new ass, but and the big easy eh, whatever. And this Midnight Dancer. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but probably some fucking terrible ass fucking movie. Shallow Grave, I don't know what this is. Fucking maybe it's horror, maybe not. This is a I actually scanned this and posted it online, but this is a great media home entertainment ad for Surf Nazis Must Die, uh we got this on VHS recently, but I doubt we'll ever review it since the movie is insanely popular, but maybe. But as you can see, uh, my shadow is kind of covering it up, but suggested retail price. Hmm. Only seventy nine ninety five. That's cheap as fuck. Oh, wait. No. That's ridiculously expensive. Whatever. I am a little Doom Asylum. We reviewed that. Uh, as you can see, like, on the last page, there's some c color stuff, but then some of it's in black and white as this is, um, another seventy nine ninety five. And unlike Surf Nazis, this movie is complete shit and not worth the dollar that we spent on it. But, eh, tough guys don't dance. I have no clue what that is. A lifetime of memorable performances. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever that is. Some fucking action movie, Steel Justice. This movie. Some sci fi joint, I don't know, in the aftermath. Hmm. Maybe if we ever see that, we'd buy it. Orion's Belt, I don't know. Whatever that shit is. But you can see a Monster Squad ad. Vestron. Ooh. A nice suggested retail price. Uh. Can't get that clear, but. Eighty nine ninety eight. Ugh, that's a ridiculous price. We still need this one VHS. Nice movie. Whatever this is, that looks fucking terrible. But Garbage Pail Kids movie. I'd like to get this sometime. This movie looks fucking terrible. And I always collected the cards as a kid, so it'd be nice. Some Embassy. I don't know what that is. Tell me a riddle. Media, but nothing interesting. Friendly Favors. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Oh wait, I noticed these are the private screening releases the through media, actually. I just turned down buying one, though I might pick it up at some point. 
from a friend of ours video store. Just some fucking titty filled movies, I don't know. Nothing else about them. This movie we bought, it's uh, advertised as Chuck Norris's brother, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah right here. Uh, the family resemblance is striking as Mike Norris, son of martial arts superstar Chuck Norris, explodes into action in survival game. Hmm. He's got a nice log in his hand. He's about to explode into action, I guess. I don't know. Fuck that shit. Some wrestling stuff. We actually have WrestleMania 2. I, I kind of like this like old VHS, like WWF wrestling videos. They look nice. They're normally in like big clamshells and shit, so I, I'll pick those up if I see them. Though I've only seen one. This is Rolling Vengeance. This movie actually looks good. Charter Entertainment. I don't know. Uh, well. Compelling Echoes of Rocky and Death Wish? Um, no. No. Never mind. It looks like shit. This is we got this, I'm pretty sure, Miami Horror. Can't tell, like, it looks like a normal action movie. See that? Completely normal action movie. Then what the fuck is that? A monster's in this? I have no idea. Then, just some Christopher Lee joint, some other Mario Bava movie, The Invaders. This is actually nice, this is, I'll unfold that. Moon Goddess, Dutch Girls, and I'll flip them over. Uh, forbidden Passion, and that, that thing. But it unfolds. Now, before I reveal what's in here, I was hoping for at least something decent or something bad. What I got, though. Ooh, a nice giant poster of Hamburger Hill. Perfect. Not. Like, I want to hang this shit up. I'd much rather have this Miami Horror movie be the full thing, but, I don't know, maybe I'll display it just like this or something. Whatever. It's just nice to have, I guess. Some movie Supergrass, I don't know, let's move along. Almost Human, that kind of looks, I don't know, what the fuck that looks like. Some Prism stuff, some, I don't know. Whatever. Brotherhood of Death, that's Pretty sure that's in a double feature with that Fred Williamson movie on DVD from Anchor Bay. That was pretty funny. It was a great tagline. Uh, I can't remember, though, but maybe I'll add some text below and explain what that tagline was. But And Jane Fonda workout tape. I think that's a remake of Suspicion. Ugh. Why the fuck do you remake a Hitchcock movie? That's retarded. Robocop. You know. Normal stuff, some monkey stuff. Nice ad for Predator. And the media ad for The Curse. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have Curse 4, though no relation to this. I'm, I think we did a review of that. Dwarf. I don't know what the fuck these movies are. Princess Bride. Masterpiece. Um, Black Sister's Revenge. Just looks like a typical Pam Greer ripoff. Exploitation. Tour of Duty. Uh, whatever that. Bluffers? I don't fucking know. Some other garbage. Some more fucking terrible shit. Oh, this is that Penn and Teller tape. I saw that. It looks like a VHS on the box. That's kind of cool. Uh, you know, typical whatever movies. I guess you can't always get good shit. Uh, this. This is interesting, the IVE release of uh, Rest in Pieces, which is a movie we definitely need to get, though we've been yet, we've yet to find it. That That's a great cover right there. I'm not sure if that's the exact VHS cover or not, but good artwork. The Teacher, this looks interesting. Vid America, I don't know if it's kind of looks like a slasher with the dude with a knife. Another dude looks like he's raping the girl, although she looks like she's really enjoying it. I don't know what that's about. Big Valley, no clue. Something good. You just got the typical ads for cheap, popular movies. War games, though, that's great. Daffy Duck shit. Axelon Video. Battle of Algiers, oh shit. Movies of Masterpiece. Yeah, this ad's stunning. This Fred Williamson thing for... 
Got a bunch of his movies, Bucktown, Masterpiece, Self in Harlem, Black Caesar, Messenger, you know. The hammer never misses the mark. That's pretty cool. This ad. This ad is stunning. Stunning. Full color spookies ad. This is ridiculously good. I got to hear and I almost exploded. But yeah, that just look at that guy. That's amazing. That's how you do it. We've yet to get this though. We really want that. Blue movies, these are some funny looking shit. Just I don't know, probably two directors similar to Ghost Chase or something. Prayer for the Dying, you know. Off the mark. That's a decent cover. Upside down, but the tell. Hide and go shriek, this is a movie I really, really want. In the terrifying tradition of Friday the thirteenth and Halloween. New Star. That's a movie that I would definitely be interested in if I ever saw in portfolio. I don't know what that is, but and you got an ad for Howling Three. Cheap price again, only eight dollars, but and we reviewed that. That's the Vista clamshell, I believe. And then on the back you got Outlaw Force, whatever that is. And like as as you can see on the bottom it says uh, family video which I'm familiar with. It, there was one, there is one in my town, but this one says Kane, PA. I, I've i never heard of that place or this family video, but I'm guessing it's long shut down, but I just thought it was interesting. I wish I could find more of these. I'd buy, no matter what which one I saw, I'd definitely buy it because it's interesting and, I mean, it's pretty rare. Like, most video stores probably immediately threw these out, like, I can't imagine one surviving for 15 years in order to make it to a comic book shop in, like, not torn up, completely terrible condition. When I originally got it, this poster was still connected, I believe, and it hadn't fallen out or anything, which is ridiculous, but, yeah, just a nice little cool thing I picked up along the way, and hopefully one day I'll find more, I don't know which Videopedia this is, if this is the first one, the tenth one, or what, but if anyone else knows anything about that, let me know, because, I mean, this is pretty cool, especially, I mean, Hellraiser on the cover, that, that's great. It's just an immediate sign that there will at least be something decent in here, but, yeah, I don't know. Thank you, keep reading, and keep shitting, as Tim would say, and, yep.